And now that ABC News exclusive, joining us now is Governor Sarah Palin and John McCain's running mate in 2008. Governor Palin, thanks for being with us. I know you congratulated Kamala Harris on Instagram and you gave her some advice based on your experience as a vice presidential candidate. Among the uh, bits of advice you gave, don't forget the women who came before you. What should she remember about you and Geraldine Ferraro? Um, well, you know, I would like to think that both Geraldine Ferraro and I, um, in our respective parties, uh, we were able to um, kind of bust down some doors and um, show uh, some American voters who perhaps were hesitant to believe that women are capable of doing a whole lot of things all at once. You know, I had just had a baby and my oldest son was um, enlisted in the Army. He was headed off to his first deployment. Um, I had a a teenage daughter who was pregnant in case you didn't notice that one on the front page of the national Enquirer, had a lot of family things going on and um, in addition to that though being able to serve um, the great state of alaska as governor and um geraldine ferraro too in her run being able to do so much in her personal life and in her political and professional life. I think we were able to show um, uh, some voters again, who maybe are kind of Neanderthal-ish and not believing that women are capable of doing a whole lot at once. We were able to prove that. Governor Palin, obviously you and Senator Harris are on the opposite sides of the political aisle. What made you decide to want to reach out to her? Uh, you know, I had a great discussion with Geraldine Ferraro when I was chosen. I called her and um, uh, we were able to kind of bond over, um, you know, this unique experience that she had had and that I was ready to have. Uh, so, you, you know, I wish that more uh, people, more women would have reached out uh, to me at the time. Um, because, you know, it, it, it was a tough job, of course, um, running for that office. Uh, Kamala, she, she's more, um, uh, I, I think she's in a better position in, in terms of what to expect uh, than I or Geraldine Ferraro back in the day, because um, again, you know, people have come before her to be able to run. And um, here, you know, we see the, the big feminist list of women who've already come out to support her and kind of saying, you know, hey, media, the, keep your hands off her when it comes to um, some issues that maybe uh, you're gearing up to attack her for. Nobody did that for me. Nobody did that for Geraldine. So she has a, a bit of a privilege there and you know, we'll, we'll see how she handles that. But I hope that the media will treat um, her candidacy um, not as um, personally rough as they um, treated mine uh, because a lot of uh, the coverage of me was quite unfair and I'm not saying that as a victim or a whiner I'm saying that as fact and uh, you know I, I hope that they will um, treat her fairly but at the same time um, no kid gloves you know uh, the American voter wants to know that we have the most capable people running and who will be elected regardless of gender regardless of race. Governor Palin, you also gave uh, a couple other bits of advice to Senator Harris. You said, don't get muzzled and have fun. Were you able to accomplish both in your run? I had so much fun, you know, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. It was it was just the most, oh, the most amazing experience um, to get to see America, to get to see Americans and who it is that makes this country so great. Um, as for being muzzled, no, the, the folks who ran the McCain-Palin campaign, they wanted to muzzle me. You know, I, I tried to go rogue earlier than uh, we actually got to go rogue and let the, these campaign managers know, uh, no, you know, I'm, I'm chosen for a reason uh, to be able to serve based on my experience and my administrative uh, talents and um, hard work, the work ethic and that that I represent. And um, yeah, some campaign managers, they sure attempted to muzzle. And for a while there, I was muzzled. So I hope that she doesn't go through that. I hope that, you know, she stands strong and reminds campaign managers, you know, you don't know any more than anybody else. You know, you, you guys, too many of them are in it for a business. They're in it for a season, not a reason. So uh, hopefully she won't let them muzzle her. Well, Governor Sarah Palin, we certainly appreciate you joining us today and your time this morning. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.